Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. It's going to be another raid Shadow Legends video. So we're doing an account takeover of Arnold. Um, basically, we are looking to try and push for a two key nightmare clan boss. And we are trying to get an auto on Spiders 20. Let's have a little snoop around the account quickly. So we have got ourselves a great haul here with a decent level of accuracy. Crit damage defense. It feels like this is a pretty solid great haul actually. Um, well done here. This is kind of moving along nicely. This looks like it's got a bit of work in it as well. Um, yeah, I'd say from now on, push more defense, push more crit damage, perhaps a bit more HP. And we are going to be good. So let's just check out then the clan boss team that we run right now. Going to be doing Nightmare Clan Boss. We've got ourselves a Tayrail, Cult Brawler. This feels good. So we've got decreased attack, decreased defense and weaken, big hitters, poisoners, counter attacks. Everything here is decent, so to get ourselves to a two-key nightmare, um, basically it's just going to be about gearing up the right champions. We do have options though. We've got ourselves, let's just take a look at the champion pool quick. So we've got ourselves a Drexar. Drexar is good as well for clan boss. Um, any other options for the lineup here? Jareg's not quite ready to go, so Polka's not ready to go. Steel Skull's in the mix. But I'd say it feels like we've got the right team picked. It feels right to me. Um, yeah, no, I'd say I'd say we've got the right the right six, uh, the right five picked. So it's just going to be about gearing them up, getting them doing as much damage as possible for that nightmare speed tune. So currently, his lineup does between thirteen and fifteen million. We need to push it over the twenty million mark to get that two key consistent clan boss damage. Um, after that, we're going to look at spiders. So Spiders is the second challenge of the takeover. And in terms of this team, we have got ourselves a team that has beaten 19. So we're on to 20. But if you look here, the time's 17. This is going to be the auto, 17 minutes. We need to get a team that can beat Spider 20 on auto because like everyone else, we're trying to push for this Arbiter as the reward. And to do that, you need to beat everything on auto on 20. So we're going to need to find ourselves a spider team. We've got cold hearts in here. We've got steel skulls. We've got raw guards. We've got miscreated monster. We've got razin. We've got the tools to do the job, yeah? So it's just about making sure they're geared in the right way. Uh, we don't have a AOE HP burn champ, which is always good for spider. We don't have that set up. So it's going to be about enabling these cold hearts to do their work or enabling um, the raw guard to do their work. So it's all about picking the right teams to suit the comp. Uh, again, we're going to do that today. Um, it's going to be done live on my Twitch stream. I do Twitch every evening now, 8 p.m. GMT. Link will be below. Come and check us out. We're doing these takeovers live, which is quite good fun, actually. We've had quite a good, good bit of banter over the last few days. Um, but yeah, I'll show you the results as we get going. Uh, in terms of the gear in so far, so for the clan boss team, we've got no life still here, um, which is interesting because we don't really have a natural healer in that team. So I feel like we need to go lifesteal, lifesteal. The build is not bad. It's a bit fast actually, but it's not bad. Build is not bad again. A uh, bit low on defense here, but otherwise not bad. One, two, three, who am I missing? Rotus. Okay, bit slow, pretty slow actually. Yeah, that, I'm not so keen on this build. It feels like we tried to shoehorn Relentless into work here. That's not a great build, that one. One, two, three, four. Who was the fifth? Who was the fifth? Skull Crusher. Skull Crusher at least is in life still set. So it feels like we probably need to move everybody to life still because we don't have a healer here. We've got no healing apart from life still. No healing, no healing, no healing. So it's kind of no wonder that we're not getting the numbers we want. I feel like move everyone to life still. We've got a good chance of just doing that straight out. Um, it's all going to be dependent on whether we've got enough gear to make that happen. If we haven't, we might have to change the roster and bring in somebody like a Steel Skull. So we've got a bit of gear here. Got a couple of defense items. We're going to be going through that today. Find the right uh, solution for this account and we'll get it done. Um, stay tuned. Okay, guys. So we have rebuilt the Clan Boss team. Uh, I've been doing it with the support of my guys in Twitch. Thanks very much, everyone who's in the channel. So what have we got? We have got a Skull Crusher now who is looking hot. 4K defense, 171 speed. So he's the perfect speed for the Nightmare Clan boss. We pushed his crit rate up to 91%. So he's going to do a lot more damage. And then we've got about 34K HP. 
How have we done it then? So we've gone defense on the ring, defense on the amulets, and we've got defense on the banner. There's still a bit more we could do here with this build to just push his damage and his survivability up a bit more. But we've kept a bit of silver back. We have gone defense on the boots. We've managed to get a speed roll here. Defense on the chest. And then we've got crit rate gloves. So because I could put defense on his boots, I was able to bring in the crit rate gloves. And that's how you start to get to an end game build. Great, uh, great shield here. And then we've got a couple of other bits just to kind of get the speed to the right place. Uh, we've then got ourselves our poisoner in a cult brawler. So Colt Brawler, he's still a little bit low on the defense side. It'd be interesting to see how long he stays alive for, but we do have good HP on him. Uh, 173 speed, so he's a bit faster than the Skull Crusher. Good accuracy for Nightmare. If we was to push this team to Ultra Nightmare, his accuracy is too low, but for Nightmare, he's fine. Um, so he's looking pretty good. And again, we managed to get some HP boots onto him, so that's, that's decent. Defense, defense in his other um, sort of main items. We've got this Kraken shield here with some good speed. Look at this roll on the glyph. And then we went defense, defense, accuracy for his jewelry. Uh, we've then got ourselves a tail rail for our decrease attack. So we had to go speed boots here, defense. Again, a really good piece here. Defense with speed, massive speed roll, and nice shield to go with it. We've gone accuracy, defense, defense on his kit. So his build comes out. Massive defense, plenty there, 4.2k, life steal gear, 179 speed. I'd love his crit rate to be a bit higher, we just couldn't get there. 230 accuracy though is nice. And then we go up to our legendary, so we've got ourselves a Razin now. Razin has got 176 speed, and we have got 4.1k defense. Decent amount of crit rate, I would have loved that to be a bit higher again. But it's not bad. Accuracy again, I'd love it to be a bit higher. We've lifted it up a bit, but it's not too bad. Life still set again. And then we've got defense, defense, speed. His base speed's very low, so we, we tried to get defense boots on him. We can't do it. His, his base speed was just too low, and we didn't have the gear to make it happen. We do have, though, a defense ring, a defense amulet, and an accuracy banner. And then lastly, this is... Um, this was a build that I needed a bit more help on in the Twitch because I've built a load of Rotuses for Arena, not so much for Clan Boss. So when I've used my Rotus in Clan Boss, I've literally just thrown him in in the same gear that he's wearing for my Arena setup. So we've been fiddling around with this. We have gone for Relentless Set, Crit Damage. Look at this roll in Attack. 22% plus a Glyph that went 8%. It's huge. That's like having another item of Attack. We've got Crit Rate right here. We've got this attack chest with crit rate on it. We've got these speed boots with crit rate. We've got the shield with speed and crit damage. Speed and crit rate on the, the helm. And then massive crit rate, speed, crit damage here as well. So really good build. Uh, crit damage on his amulet. Defense here just to give us a bit of a boost to defense. And then we've got attack on the banner. So we're, we're into the fight. Let's go for this. If you remember I said at the start of the video, we are doing between 13 and 17 million so far before this fight. Let's see if we can get to that two key nightmare with this setup. Great thing about this build is it's it's fully possible just to go also from the start. Skull is gonna go last just before the clan boss. He is going to get his counter attack up and then everything is gonna fall into line after that. So I can let this run through. Decrease attack is gonna go on. Razum will do his decrease defense and weaken on his next turn. We've got a Cult Brawler just laying those poisons for fun. And then Rotus is literally just in there for damage. He's not, he doesn't bring any other debuffs that we need. He just comes in to hit really, really hard. Let's see what he's going to do. 51k on his A1. 120k with a Warmaster proc as well there on his A2. So we are good, good for damage. We just need to absolutely... Um, basically, we just need to stay alive for as long as we can. The biggest risk we've got here is that stun. I do not have a cleanse for the stun. There's no one in the team that's going to do it. If we went to a negative affinity and Skull Crusher start to get stunned, we'd be, in, we'd be in trouble. Anyone else that gets stunned, we're actually fine. But if Skull Crusher was taking stunned, we'd be in trouble. Um, anyway, but let's run through. I'll bring the video back in when we get to the end. So we've come in at 19.91. We actually lost Rotus quite early because Taywell's decrease attack dropped off, which I think is actually just quite bad luck, but it was still on for a two key. Um, I'm just going to do a bit of playing around with the gear again, and then we're going to come back in and try one more. 
But I think this is actually more like a 23, 24 million team. We just got quite unlucky, but let's try again. Right, so we've done a little bit of a rework on Rotus. Basically, I've taken his, immortal, his speed gear off. I've put Immortal gear on him to just top his health up a bit each turn. That way, I'm hoping the clan boss doesn't start to target him with stuns. Um, we've still got a bit of a, a risk in Tayrail. Tayrail's a risk because it, if he doesn't land his decrease attack, we basically wipe. But I can't do much about that. Once we've got Jareg or Sepulchre up and running, I would actually put one of these in, in his place. But for now, we're going with what we've got. This change has meant we've still got the right speed. We've got more defense in his build now. We've lost crit rate, which is not ideal. I'd prefer there to be more crit here, but I'd rather he stays alive than he crits more often. I did move him onto a defense banner just to give me a bit more defense to take less damage. So let's go in again, second hit then. Let's see if we can get this two key. What do we need for a two key? So we need to hit 20 million this run to get two key. And bear in mind, this is absolutely full auto. Uh, literally from the start, both times now, full auto. If we can do it full auto, then imagine you know just manual in for a few turns, you'd get a lot more damage out. I'm going to let this roll through, and then I'll show you the results. Okay, so we're coming up, we're well, just past eight minutes. Again, Tayrell just missed his decrease attack, which is why this runs a wipe. We would have been wiped within a couple of hits anyway, but bam, 26.74 million. We've actually pretty much just doubled the clan boss damage for this team. We were doing between 13 and 17, so we're not far off a double damage effort. Um, thanks to everyone who's played a part in the Twitch channel tonight because actually you've really helped me out with some of these builds. But that is clan boss done and dusted. Good effort there. So what do we need to do next? We need to do some, and did you see that rotus damage as well? Actually disgusting. Um, what do we need to do next then? We need to take on the spider. Just spider 20 we're looking for. So we have got some of the usual cast in this team. We don't have an AOE HP burn. So we're going to have to go with big shields from a miscreated monster. Cold heart doing her um, heart seekers. We're going to need people like potentially Tayrell coming in for our decreased defense. Maybe Apothecary for some speed. And then depending on how it goes, I think someone like a Drexar might be a good off tank for us. So I'm going to get into building these champions up ready to go. And uh, I'll show you the results soon. Okay, here we go again. So we are now ready to try Spider 20. What have we done? We've tried to build a bit of a Spiderling tank in Drexar. So Drexar has now got decent resistance, 218. So we're hoping that he's able to resist some of those poisons coming at him. Okay, speed. Okay, defense. Okay, HP. All of this kind of works. He's still got a decent level of accuracy. The reason for that is because we want for this passive to work. 55% chance, it's actually booked up to 60 right now, so that when he gets attacked by a Spiderling, there's a chance that Spiderling's gonna get an HP burn on it. When it moves again after that, the main spider takes a chunk of damage. So that's why he becomes a very good Spiderling tank. Uh, he's also got an AoE Provoke, so he's gonna draw the spiders into him. They'll probably go for him anyway, because he's negative affinity, um, but he will just kind of allow us to take the pressure off of people like Cold Hearts in the team. So he's one. We've got Miscreated Monster built up. I moved the Miscreated Monster into having large crit rate, or better crit rate anyway, good HP level, um, okay speed, okay accuracy. We need to land those stuns. Uh, we've then got ourselves a Tayrell, same build as we had for Clan Boss, so that's good to go. We've got Apothecary, basically just going fast. 218 speed, good defense level. Crit to do some crit heals, so I did go for crit rate gloves. It's really either defense glove or crit rate gloves for the apothecary. And then we've got ourselves a cold heart, good to go. So cold heart has got good level of accuracy to drop that turn meter when she does a heart seeker. She's a little bit higher on crit rate than we need, but still good. 204 crit damage. So we're basically in good shape. Just want to check she's got this done. Yep. So we need this booked out to get that back as soon as we can. She's going to be our main damage. Let's get into it, see what happens. So first run, first run's always a bit daunting. This was the build that was in before. It's not a terrible one. It's actually quite a good, good team comp. I like to have the speed of an apothecary in my team. So this team comp is definitely possible. I might end up going back to that if this doesn't work, but I'm hoping this is gonna work. 
I think Drek'Sar should be better than Razin, albeit Razin's got a turn meter drop, which is nice. So the two of them, both both good options for this. So we should go speed into, um, Drek'Sar's actually quite quick now, into drop defense here, big shields. Look at those size of those shields. That's why you go crit rate gloves. Look at the size of the shields. We've got HP burns now starting to go on some of these spiderlings. Look at that. As they come and attack Drek'Sar. Didn't get the turn meter drop. That's annoying. Um, that's quite annoying from the cold heart there. Because that would probably be a one shot on this spider, I reckon. But we've still done it. We've done a good chunk of damage already. So the main spider starting to burn now from the spider uh, spider lings but yeah because we didn't get that turn meter drop the spider's gone so we're gonna have to wait now for the rotation of all those abilities again so we need cold heart now to to rescue our drexar but we're going to get big shields out again so actually we're, we're in pretty good shape still here's all the provokes 50 odd percent chance remember anyone that hits him is going to get that hp burn on it we've got a number now starting to come up so the next time they move, they're going to do good damage to the boss for us. Plenty of HP burns out there now. We're kind of waiting for that um, Cold Heart's ability to come back. We need the Heart Seeker back in action. Tayrell's great for this fight. He does that turn meter reduction as well. Miscreated Monster is actually taking some pain here. Nice shields out again though. That's good. We need to just drop that turn meter now. Have we got a heart seeker yet? Might be another turn yet. No, we got it. There goes the turn meter. This feels really solid now. Loads of HP burns out there. He's actually just wiped them all out, which is not what we wanted, but still, we're still in good shape. So I'd say nine times out of ten, this is going to be a sub two minute team if that heart seeker drops in the first first instance. Um, but it feels like 10 times out of 10, this is a, a definite winning team, which is the main thing we wanted to build. I'd say that we've not won yet. So uh, I've, I've said that before and then, then gone and lost. So we don't want to jinx it too much. Big shields out again. No, miscreated monster, MVP as always. But I do like Drexar in this off tank role. If you got him, he's, he's very, very valuable for this. Drop turn meter from Tayrell. Tayrell is a fantastic spider champ. I'm always looking for similar sort of setups. You know, Miscreated Monster, Tayrell, Apothecary, Cold Heart. They're like your four fundamental spider killers. But if we can get sub free 30 minutes for a first run, I'll be really happy with that. Especially given that kind of bad luck on the Heart Seeker. There it is, 305 in the bin. Spider's down. We've got a, another completed takeover. So, hey Arnold, we have basically doubled your clan boss damage. We've got a Spider 20 team on auto. Welcome to the land of Arbiter. Guys, thanks for watching the video. I'll catch you all soon.